this is our second and last full day at Bled. Um, we've done lots of things here, but mainly just um, relaxed after lots of walking in the previous places. Um, we did go um, rowing yesterday to the island, but except for that, we've been swimming and um, just relaxing around here and going to some nice restaurants. Mm -hmm. uh, we had uh, vegan burgers in the first place we went to first night. And then we had we went to a pizzeria that did vegan cheese, and I had a tofu pizza <laughs> with olives and capers, and yeah, that was it. Yeah, and I had a pizza with chicory on it, which was awesome because I've I've never seen a pizza like that, which was it was really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And we have a very nice view of Lake Bed at the moment because we just walked up to the castle, which is there. I don't know if I got that. <laughs> Might not be able to see that <laughs> up there somewhere. The trees might be in the way. But um, yeah, and then we're off to Bohin tomorrow. Don't know how you pronounce it, but another lake that's close here. Uh, and then Tolmin, and I think there we're also going to do yeah. quite a bit of relaxing. And tomorrow we're yeah. probably going to be in the car for quite a bit, but it's still going to be quite, quite relaxed. And mm. yeah, I'm looking forward to the next few de destinations. Yeah. So we've had our, our city breaks and doing all this sort of touristy stuff and now is our relax and like nice scenery and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to enjoy this for our last full day and we will check in with you guys later. Mm -hmm. See ya. There is another tree marking. We hadn't seen one for a while, so we're a bit worried. But we think this is still a part. Yeah, no. I mean, ish in the middle there a bit. No, I don't go back. Good luck. <laughs> I wish you well in your conquest. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> now let's just see if I make it over alive. I think the past <laughs> comes to an end unless there's a way around. We are trying to find a waterfall. Yeah, I really hope there is. But it it's seems here. It seems a bit, a bit sketchy. That's how I would say. Lots of nettles and stuff mm. and bugs. And not a very clear path. As you can see. Got some sketchy markings. Yeah, some markings on the trees, so we think we think this is a path, but we don't know. Oh, I don't know if they're massive stinging nettles. I don't think so. We don't think so. But Hannah has been stung. 
the path continues. Ooh, haven't checked in with you for a very long time so since Bled we've passed by Lake Bohin, we've gone to Tolmin, um, Koberid and um, now we're in Croatia we've done a lot of different things oh in God. these yeah but we've done a lot of different things in these different places so we started out in um, at Bohin. we went swimming there the water was quite cold uh, between 17 and 18 degrees and afterwards we went for a hike up on a really high mountain um, so that was quite the climb. Had a really nice view of the lake from there. Um, then we went to um, Tolmin. There we had a day of rest. We literally didn't leave our apartment and afterwards we decided it was time for some more activity and looking for a waterfall we ended up hiking and climbing for a total of seven hours yeah so i've got well we ended up at the top of the waterfall and then went all the way down without actually we sort of saw it from the other side of a we're sort of on the wrong side of the mountain so then we went and got some lunch but we had to sort of walk quite far for that and then we finally climbed back up and uh, found it, but we'll probably mm -hmm. have some more videos on that. Yeah, so that was Waterfall Berry, um, and the next day we also went to Waterfall Gozjak, which was also quite impressive. That's like the most, sort of like the main one they took, like the most touristy one, Yeah, I think. because at Berry we didn't... We didn't see anyone for the entire seven hours of no, our hike. No one there at all. Which was quite Which is, nice. Yeah, that was yeah. quite cool. It was nice. Um, um, so then we wanted some more adventures. So rather than just seeking out waterfalls, we then decided to jump off of them. And we went canyoning, which was awesome. Yeah, it's basically like sliding down rocks and jumping off rocks into like, basically down a canyon. So like a mini waterfall. Like, yeah, where they're sort of the water's made the rock smooth so you can slide down on and stuff like that. That's good. Yeah, and that the biggest really jump we did was about eight meters high. Yeah, eight meters. There was also one slide where we were partly uh, be laid down and partly just fell down, which was uh, 13 meters high. That was quite cool. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> and then yesterday we went to the Scotchen Caves and we drove to um, Novigrad. Croatia, so now we're in Croatia. Yep. The drive was horrible, but we're glad to be here. The hotel is really nice. Yeah. We're right by a water park, which was like one of the main reasons we come here. But we're also by the coast, as you can see. So yeah, by this time we basically had it all. Um, Hotel-wise, we've had a horrible hotel. We've had yeah. a really cute hotel with shared facilities. We've had a little apartment to ourselves. We've been in the hostel and now we have another little apartment. Uh, yeah. Probably the best one so far, I think. We've seen lakes, waterfalls, the sea. We've swam in, well, I was going to say all of them, but we haven't swam in the sea yet no, we because haven't. we only just got here. But we might still do. Yeah. And yeah, we'll see where we should. go from here. Yeah. Cool.
Ready for a pub crawl tonight? Well, almost. So I went on my first pub crawl yesterday and we were a tiny group but it was a lot of fun. I think we ended um, our night at about 3am. We still had to walk back to our hotel for an hour and I decided to also have a shower because in a lot of the bars you were allowed to smoke so I felt quite smelly. <laughs> so we were in bed only by maybe 4 o'clock and I woke up by 9 in the morning, decided to just stay in bed, and I only got up at 10, which was incredible. I also only just had breakfast at maybe 11 or just past 11. And um, yeah, I think we're going to go and explore Zagreb in the afternoon rather than before noon. Oh. Well, we run over now. Made it back to Slovakia, babes. We made it back to Slovakia today, but then I realized we hadn't really updated you on practically anything since Novigrad, and it's now July 1st, so it's been several days. Um, after we updated you last, we've been to Istrialandia water park, which was amazing. There was, I believe, 15 slides. We went down all of them, and this included a really, really, really really scary one where the floor underneath your feet suddenly just disappeared and you were falling down. Absolutely terrifying, but honestly just so much fun. After Novigrad we left to um, the national park where we spent a day, then we moved on to Zagreb. Um, there I went on my first ever pub crawl. We didn't do all that much except this pub crawl, um, but we looked for some nice vegan places and just walked around a little bit and that was quite a lot of fun as well. After Zagreb we moved on to Siofok for one night because that was about a three or four hour drive so that was quite long. We stayed there for a night and then moved on to Budapest. Um, there I showed Tom my old school and uh, we visited a friend, um, a neighbour in the street for about an hour after which we um, again just looked around for some restaurants, um, mainly um, sort of fast foodish places, but it was still quite nice to try them all out. Um, yeah, this morning we went to a bakery for breakfast. From there we went straight to this other place for lunch and then straight back to another bakery for some pistachio pie. and. Yeah, we didn't really do anything else in Budapest, really. We walked around a bit, we went to Margaret Island yesterday to see the fountain. And yeah, after lunch day, I just sort of wanted to head back home because I've missed home. And yeah, if I have to drive for three or four hours, I just, I'm just ready to get back. So that's where we're at. We're back in Bratislava now. Tom's watching some football, which we've been trying to keep up with this holiday. And I'm just about to unpack some things and just get everything a little bit organized. So that's my check-in for today. And 
yeah, I hope you liked our travel vlog. And I think I might be doing a Q&A after this. If you have any kinds of questions, then let me know in the comments or if you have any questions to Tom. I'm sure he'd be willing to answer some as well. So do let me know, um, well, any questions that you might have and I'll see you soon.